Hi folks, Scott Seger with you here, RTC TV4. Today we've got a special group in here. We've got the Fulton County Parks Board. Parks and Recreation Board. Parks and Recreation Board. And this is part of the Fulton County Parks Project that's been going on uh, a little over 10 years now here in Fulton County. So uh, we brought Mark Kepler in, Bill Walsh, and a player to be named later who's off camera down on the end. We won't talk about Misty Cray. But uh, no, she's a great member as well, and they're having a lot of fun. Folks, I've been out to uh, Prairie Edge uh, by the fairgrounds a few times to film yet already this year, but uh, these guys are just doing spectacular things. I wanted to know a little bit more about the Fulton County Parks, what's happening, how did it all develop. And uh, so we're going to get a little history today, hopefully encourage you to go out and take advantage of these wonderful resources here in Fulton County. So uh, turning over here, Mark Kepler, of course, Purdue Extension Office. Welcome, sir. Thank you. Thank you. So you're a member of this board. Yeah, and I've been a member since the inception, and we came around since the year 2000. Okay, almost so, 20 years old yeah, at this it's point. It's getting to that time period. And, and so I'm really excited to talk about it today because there's a lot of things that have happened through the years, and it's a unique treasure in our community. And the reason I say that is because uh, we'll talk about this as we go along. There's not been a lot of financial input from the county per se county government right we've done a lot through volunteers and the programs that we've done are, are done through volunteers and a lot of good people work with it oh you gotta love the volunteers it. who are giving up their time their money their efforts to make things like uh, prairie edge and other uh, pieces here in fulton county so that's fantastic well let's talk about the structure of the board first of all um, you have members, I assume, or how many people are on the board, roughly? Bill is the president of the uh, board, okay. and um, we have uh, seven members that are on the board. Okay. And pick throughout, and it, they get a selection process, uh -huh. and that process is by certain parts of county government that put them on the, the board. Okay. Some put on by judges, some put on by council, some put on by the nature of their position, and that's why I'm on there, okay. is by the nature of my position. So we've got a variety of different people that have been on it and some have been on it for a very long period of time. Excellent. We are not paid. We are of all volunteers Volunteer that work board. in this situation. Okay. And so we we meet once a month and we meet at one of our county parks and we'll talk about that county park. That's Germany Bridge okay. County Park as we get along here. Yeah, very neat, very neat. So uh, Prairie Edge is probably the big one. That's going to get a lot of the attention. You've got the beautiful walking path around there. But there are some others and, and we'll, let's just kind of do the landscape here of where you guys have been focused over the past uh, years. you got, um, of course, Prairie Edge, mm -hmm. and then you've got Germany Bridge out on Tippecanoe River, correct? Right. Yes. And the board has taken ownership of that. You've done a lot of updates to that mm -hmm. as well. And then we've got the Aubie uh, Landing or uh, Ramp there over in Lighters Ford. Right. Excellent. Other projects on the works? Or yeah, the things? there are some of them. Okay. Let me kind of go backwards a little bit uh -huh. and talk about Prairie Edge. Please. That was our first park. And the reason we've even got that park is because somebody donated us a large sum of money. Okay. And that large sum of money went to purchasing that ground that's there. Okay. Prairie Edge is located on 3rd Street, yeah. just uh, just off of US 31 to the east. Mm -hmm. um, and so it's there, and we were able to go in there and with a lot of help from a lot of individuals, do a variety of things to that park. Yeah. Number one is we have wildflowers out front, yeah. and those are planted out there. Off to the side... So the wildflowers were planted. Oh, yeah. Those yeah. weren't wildflowers. Oh, yeah. They've they been were planted insane. and added to and added to and realize. added to. So all that stuff up front, that beautiful uh, side yeah. And it there. really looks beautiful this year, right? Oh, yeah, right. yeah. It looks very, very good. Had, had enough rain early <laughs> on, didn't it? Yeah, okay. it's actually been planted three times No now. kidding. Yeah. That's excellent. You... you just native wildflowers? Is that yeah. how we... We go, we go to an organization or a group that sells those flowers, a mixture of them, and put them in there. That's great. And off to the other side, to the west of it then, we have got some uh, grasses. We're mm -hmm. trying to do the prairie. The reason that park has that name of Prairie Edge mm -hmm. is if you go back in history, we are right on the edge of the prairie. You yeah. go to the west of us, you start into the prairie grounds. And so Fulton County had... A few prairie grounds no where Indiana mostly was a forest, and so we're right on the edge of the prairie. Didn't realize and so that. on the east side, we're trying to establish a forest, <laughs> and we have had a lot of trouble with invasive plants coming in. Really there trying to plant the there. And, have and on the west side, we got the prairie, so we're trying to put it right together with a pond right in between there. Oh, that's neat. That's neat. And some of the things we've got, and I'll let Bill talk about them. Uh, we have uh, a gazebo there, uh -huh. and we also have a pavilion there that have been donated or helped us through on that. So the pavilion first, I think we can talk about. The pavilion was... That's right there just off to the right as you come into right the park, Right by the parking correct? lot, yes. Mm -hmm. That was 
the majority of the money was donated by Richland Center Fish and Game Club. When they disbanded, they gave us their remaining funds. Excellent. Um, and we hired a contractor to build it, but Jeff Good actually poured and donated the Jeff concrete. Jeff Good locally here? Yes. Excellent. For that building and for the gazebo. Holy cow. And Joyce Good actually donated the funds to buy the gazebo and have it put in. Oh, thank you to the Good family so right there. The restroom building was a Pete Terpster project. Oh, Pete. That he was a member of the original Friends. Excellent. So Pete actually built the restroom. Excellent. So the whole park development has been volunteers yeah. and donations. And, and and around that park, there is a trail going around the oh, lake. Oh, yes. And, uh, My wife was, always says, one more time, one more time. <laughs> <laughs> that was put in, Bill. You were instrumental in being a part of that also and, and keeping that up, as well as the parking lot itself that yeah. was put in. So there's a lot of volunteer time there that's went in, and a lot of it, and volunteer money also goes into that. U.S. Fish and Wildlife has come along, and they've also given us uh, some seed to plant out there. Nice. So it's nice to have that support that goes along Excellent. Uh, there also. So we've uh, we've gotten some help from them and through a variety of people through the years. Well, it just keeps getting better out there. When I came out to uh, film with the fifth, fifth graders that you had out there, there's a huge deck now clear to the back uh, west side of the of the park there. Yep. Yes. We are actually hoping to lay out there. We're going to build a boardwalk from the trail to that deck. Oh, wow. And the plan is to start laying it out this afternoon. Oh, that so, would be neat. Um, that would be and, neat. And so why that deck is there is down in that lower area, uh -huh. we'd like to highlight bog plants or swampy kind of plants gotcha. that grow down in there. Now, this year's so dry, it ain't a good swampy year. <laughs> right. Uh, but um, we get to the spring of the year, you'll see those swampy years. And again, we fight the invasive. We fight gotcha. the Canadian thistles and all the things. So when I was out there, the kids were actually planting. So it was barren ground, and they were going around putting in the plants. Now, eventually, that'll be all grown up, and you'll go through a boardwalk to walk back to that deck and kind of survey the area as you're out there. Yeah. So that's a neat concept. And that deck was just the right size. We put two classes of kids on that deck, yeah. and we were able to set up there and talk to them and and teach them from that location. It was neat. You yeah. in the middle of all those kids in a yeah. circle around that deck. That was a lot of like fun. Like on stage, a roundabout stage. <laughs> it was a roundabout. That was kind of our plan going in, was to focus like on an outdoor classroom. I love it. Was I love it. the reason for the deck. Well, let's step back just one second here. Let's talk about, uh, you've got volunteers, yeah. right? Yeah. So we need volunteers, folks. We need you to volunteer your time and some of your energy and occasionally some money. Let's talk about funding. As I understand it, you are not funded by Fulton County government in any way. Uh, we have had some funding over the years from time to time, okay. but not on a regular basis. Right. They don't so budget money, no. you know, $100,000 for the parks no, for you guys every year. Okay. And so we have an organization called the Friends of Parks. Okay. Friends of the Parks are ones that get together and, for example, they were having the raffle out at the... Uh, a fair this yeah, year. Yeah, during the, during the fair they do the uh, kayak raffle every year. Yeah. Keaton Stasiak, was Keaton that our winner Stasiak this year? Keaton Stasiak was our winner. Yeah, yes. look for Keaton out there on the, on the red, lake. Red kayak. Very nice. Yes. Who do you partner with to get that kayak, by the way? Big R. Big R has donated the kayak. Excellent. For, I don't know, this is four or five years now. They well, big shout out us. to the folks at Big R. We really appreciate that. It helps out uh, right here, you know, a nice thing. And you bring some money through that raffle. Right. So. Yep. Excellent. So Excellent. that's probably one of the greatest things that Friends of the Park to try to fund in sure. some things into, to us that along that line. So if, if I'm sitting there at home and I've walked Prairie Edge and I enjoy Prairie Edge and I'm just now realizing that there's not a whole lot of funding to help keep Prairie Edge going or to expand upon it, how do I get you guys money? Well, probably either of the Friends of the Park. Okay. That's one of them. Or, and that is a tax-deductible donation, because okay. you know, you they're a 501c3. 501c3 yeah, nonprofit. So, and that's probably one of the easiest ways to do it. Okay. And the other is you can actually donate to the county uh, itself, and it goes into our fund that we have in the county. Excellent. So we, we are a county entity. So mm -hmm. I say we don't get any money, but right. we're still a county entity. Yeah. And so we're subject to a budget mm -hmm. under the State Board of Accounts. Okay. So the income coming into that budget is not from tax money, gotcha. but it's from other things, but we still are budgeted. That makes sense. You know? Makes sense. Well, I appreciate that. And there's, you know, there's some lines of delineation as you get into government and how you have to parse things right. out. So um, it is important that you know that 
your tax dollars aren't going to fund this on a regular basis. Yeah. Yes, there may be some, hey, we need to go to the county and see if they'll give us some money. Those would be some tax dollars coming your way. In the but. past, we had to do a five-year plan to try to get some grants, yeah. and we were that way, and we got some money from the county to do that. But through the years, we've gotten some grants through the, through the uh, Community Foundation. Right. The uh, Arrowhead RC&D Board, okay. Operation Roundup has given us some. That's and there's been a variety of different ones that have, have donated towards us. I love it. Yeah. And we are a community. Uh, I lived in Bloomington for 20 years when I uh, went to school. And, uh, it took you that long. Huh? It, did, it really did. <laughs> it really did take me 20 years. <laughs> but, uh, you know, I've lived in Bloomington. I've lived here. And I will tell you that we are as philanthropic of a community oh, as I have ever seen. Um, that is just, we give and we give and we give. You guys give me your time and your energy, others doing the same thing at various uh, organizations around the county. So just really blessed to be in that situation. So thank you all for doing that. So we know about the funding a little bit. We could always use some more funding. We could always use some more volunteers. Um, one of the things I like to point out is the Northern Indiana Community Foundation. They have helped us a bunch. Yeah with funding on projects and they actually in 2004 awarded us 5000 to open up an endowment fund with the community foundation okay. and as of the end of last year mm -hmm. that fund had already grown to um, $18,468. So you do have and, a fund of the community foundation. Right. It's a third way. Excellent. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah. You can give Brian so, Johnson or Jay Albright a call exactly. up there and they can help you get some money into we, that. We have Received several grants from them though through the years. That's very for, generous. Oh, um, they just do wonderful things. The number of pictures Brian Johnson um, and I, of course, film him every month over at uh, WROI for his show. But Brian and I have talked about how many wonderful community based projects the Community Foundation has helped to do. Right. Uh, whether it's buildings and community centers or parks. It's just fantastic what they continue to do. So there is a fund now. Uh, it's called the Friends of the Park? Or no, it's what's it a, um, Fulton County Park Department's Endowment Fund. Okay, Fulton County Parks Department Endowment Fund. Folks, you can call your community foundation right here in Rochester. Make a contribution direct to that. And uh, contributions, by the way, we'll do it in fives and tens, or we'll do yeah. it with, with big yeah, checks exactly. with commas in them too, right? That's nice. Right. Okay, so we appreciate everything you can do there. Well, uh, back to Prairie Edge. Yeah. You've got the parking, you've got restrooms, you've got a pavilion, you've got a gazebo, you've got a deck, a boardwalk coming, you've got the walking trail all around there. Is there fishing there? I'm not fish there, but yeah. do people fish? Yeah, yeah. There are a lot, there's a lot of fishing there. Is there? But, um, it's a good place for younger kids to sure, fish. Sure, sure, right up there next but, to the banks. And, yeah. uh, well, that's there's neat. even a handicapped platform to get down to the by the water. Excellent. Handicapped accessibility platform. So it's a really nice place. Get down to, there really close. Yeah, you can get right in there. Well, there's always way. cars there. I'll tell you what, it doesn't matter if it's 5.30 in the morning. Somebody's out there walking down track. People pull off a of 31 and come down in there, too, yeah. and just kind of take a break sometimes. Yeah, it's a great I wonder how many out-of-county people do that on occasion. <laughs> right. I'll stop and just take a break at this park. Yeah, we should do a survey out there. Yeah. Are you from <laughs> county? Um, so... Great stuff at Prairie Edge. You know where that's at on East 3rd Street, or West 3rd Street there by 31. Let's kind of move uh, a little more down the river there, and let's talk about Germany Bridge Project. Now, what year did you guys bring on the Germany Bridge? It was, actually, we got it within a month or so after Prairie Edge. Okay. Um, so, it opened in 2006. Mm -hmm. Who owned, quote-unquote, um, Germany Bridge uh, launching area before the Friends of the Park. Geneva Center actually owned the original property. They had bought it to use like as a boat livery sure. for their um, float Looking, trips and yeah, stuff. Mm -hmm. And the park board purchased it from them okay. with donated money. Okay. Um, basically, Phyllis McGurk was major in establishing that park. Phyllis that, McGurk, wonderful um, things for this yeah. county. Didn't she you? donated that. She bought the adjoining property okay. where the Germany Bridge Meeting Center is. Wow. Fixed it up a lot, yeah. and in turn, then donated that also to the park department. So it's the amazing. other thing that was happening there too is the uh, DNR came along and mm -hmm. put a boat launch into that whole thing. Okay. So we actually rent out that to the DNR. Great. But they put in the concrete slab and all the things that are on there. And obviously on weekends there's a tremendous number of people yeah. that launch boats in that, yeah. that area. Now you'll have to excuse my ignorance here. Can people launch boats with motors on the river? 
Or, or is it typically strong. your kayaks and your canoes? It's it's typically anymore all kayaks, okay. but there's canoes. Yeah. Um, and you see a boat once in a while with a motor. But yeah. Pretty dangerous, right? Yeah, because a lot of trees, a lot of snags yeah. out there. Yeah. You'd have to get an airboat, right? Yeah, right. <laughs> be all right. If anyone wants to provide me with an airboat, I'm happy to do a tour. <laughs> Well, that's really neat. And so uh, the other thing that's there is that we talked about the meeting center. Mm -hmm. That's just another house that was converted over. And it really is, has been fixed up, air-conditioned. And we're looking, and I've got a pavilion there also, okay. outside uh, the picnic pavilion. tables. And we're also looking for people who want to have any kind of meetings okay. or reunions or yep. whatever it might be. That's the facility we actually rent out. Nice. See. We're doing that now. Over at Prairie Edge, for example, if you want to use a shelter, use a shelter. Okay. No, no requirements there. But here we're looking at an indoor structure, and we actually rent that out to people for those types of activities. Gotcha. And, you know, if RTC wanted to come out and get away from things and mm -hmm. sit in a house out along the river with a nice, big, beautiful view of the river, that's a good place to go to. I might never come kitchen. back. Yeah, the full kitchen in Full there, kitchen, yeah. beautiful That mystery view. voice off the side is telling us that there's a full kitchen with a beautiful view. That's really nice, though. So... Yeah. I could go out there if I had a family reunion of 40 yes. people, I could have them all out there, cook them a meal right there, and then we could float the river afterwards, right? right. Yeah. We've yeah. actually had uh, a group of folks that had a, an open house out there, and they rented it for two days, and the father of the graduate uh, roasted a hog there oh, overnight, no kidding. <laughs> right over there over an open pit, roasted yeah. it, and oh, had their it. graduation the next day. That's great use of, and that's exactly what you yeah, want, right? You want idea. people to use these. That's why you're putting in that's your work. You know, it's a lot of people putting in a lot of work to give other people enjoyment. That's, yeah. that's what it amounts to. Yeah. So uh, going up the river a little bit more, we're at Abenabi now, and abenabi has got a, uh, a launching site, if you will, a little parking there, an area to right. put your boats in. Yeah, it's, it's basically the same thing. We lease a small section of it to DNR. They put the ramp in. The difference is there, they just call it a, a canoe ramp because gotcha. it's smaller. a smaller mm -hmm. ramp. Mm -hmm. Well, there. interesting. Interesting. Mm -hmm. And there again, it's a really a smaller location. Um, we were donated that piece of property, and there's an adjoining piece of property to it we were able to purchase. Nice. And so we, we, we were able to convert an old home into a shelter mm -hmm. uh essentially and and so you can you can park in this area you can picnic at the shelter you can go down and and go from there it's it. it's and there's a lot of people utilize that yeah absolutely it's absolutely. actually becoming um i just heard over the weekend it's becoming a biker stop when people are out riding their riding. motorcycles yeah they stop there and take a rest nice. because it's peaceful it's yeah it's a beautiful nice and spot. serene back there mm -hmm. huh yeah. well that's excellent excellent so these are the three main um, yeah. properties that, that right. uh, you guys are managing and, and controlling. You got future plans though, right? Yeah, let's talk the future. Yeah, let's talk. The, the future, future is um, the future's been going on for years and years and years. Yeah, right? <laughs> uh, a lot of years, too many years. Yeah, and that yeah. is the old county landfill that is up on four fifty, four fifty, yep. yeah, north, and uh, that county landfill has officially been closed after years and years and years. Yep. The idea brought forth by the county commissioners is to uh, turn that into a park and also the sheriff's department has a shooting range there. So we have to do both and the case of it is we'll have a park for so many days and a shooting range for so many days. We'll have to work those. Sure, sure. Out. But that's sharing still, the space. So that's to really speak. is that sixty acres, Bill? It's right at sixty. Right acres. at sixty acres. Yeah. Wooded. Now you think of land figure, you think of bare land, but there's yeah. quite a bit of wooded there. Nice. And so our idea has always been to try to put a disc golf course in there. Oh wow! Go back into the woods. We get some prairie plantings. Boy, that'd be fun. Tremendous amount of invasive problems out there. Are there really plants coming through? And and so that place is going to mean a lot of work. It is not yet in the hands of the park board. Okay. Uh, Commissioner Roger Rose, I think he worked for how many years? He worked hard for 12 years. I'm sure yeah. it never would have happened without Roger's support. Roger doing good through. things. Yeah. Thank exactly. you, Roger. I should say former county commissioner yeah. now yeah. at this point. But, yeah, I did a lot with that and did it. So yeah, at some point that will get turned over. Um, it's the plans right now. So that'll be your big property yeah. once that's all. That's going to need a lot of work and a lot of people. Oh, yeah, yeah. well, So volunteers, get ready. Get your rest now because we're going to need you. Yes. Well, that's neat. Well, I want to help out more. So, uh, you know, make sure that uh, I'll get you my information so that if you've got a volunteer day and you're cleaning up or doing whatever, you can send me a text. But we'll make sure to let folks know out there as well because I know that there are folks watching this who 
enjoy that and want to be a part of it and, and make sure that that continues for years to come. We're blessed in this area. You know, we've got, uh, we've got a lot of beautiful natural areas that have been protected. Of course, we've got some of the Burton stuff down on the south end, other areas around the county here. Yeah, and just right across from the Germany Bridge is the other a nature area that's out through there too and the, and so there's a my gosh there's a, a hundred well, how many acres is that uh, is it like i don't know i'm thinking it's close to 150 or something 150 we're talking the right there. ruth kern yeah Woodland the, Preserve, kern, yeah. the yeah. acres property and, and you're able to park could you park at germany bridge to walk across yeah, over to that it's probably a little right too river, yeah. Yeah. yeah you'd have to go down to the bridge yeah, which is yeah. would be a half mile probably walking around okay. to get over there okay. Okay. there's okay. about four miles of trails back at the ruth kern are there really four yeah. miles mm -hmm. we uh i sent the crew last year and they went out and filmed a variety of scenes here in fulton county we've gotten a lot of compliments on the ruth kern as yeah. well as the judy burton so so besides that, we've got a couple other properties we just happen to own. They're small properties. Okay. We call them nature preserves. We're just kind of letting them go mm -hmm. and don't really have any major future plans. Yeah, just right some now. green space, right? Some green space. Okay. And that's what it, there were places that were donated to us. Excellent. So we've really existed to, so far on a lot of tremendous amount of volunteer labor. Absolutely. A lot of generosity from people. And uh, it's been really nice. I love the opportunity. It. I can't uh, thank you guys enough for what you're doing. Um, like I said, we, we utilize the Prairie Edge quite a bit. We do the walking out there. We'll take pictures. Um, might even start fishing out there every now and again, too. So I take the kids out there. But lots of great things. I, I know that, uh, you know, here's an example. We were walking the trail last fall. And as we were coming around, we saw all these people pulling in. We're like, what is happening here? People had been had, had a wedding, yeah. but they wanted their pictures at the park, so everybody came in caravan, and they're all filling up the park, and they're walking around over to the gazebo and other Senior things. pictures, too. Yeah, just pictures that. all the time. Yeah. So, well, it's great things here in Fulton County, things that we uh, we take for granted quite often, um, the beauty that's out there and, and maintaining it and the work that you guys put in, and we get to enjoy that. So thank you all. Thanks to the friends of the park for what they're doing. Any other information we want to pass along to folks? We want them to volunteer. We want them to donate some time or money. And I want to thank you, Scott, for having us here today and helping out with this. You know, it's my pleasure. You guys do all the hard work. I get to sit in a chair and talk to you on TV. So, <laughs> uh, you know, it was uh, Tom Butler told me last time. I saw, oh, we appreciate all you're doing. And I just looked at him and I said, you run into burning buildings and I sit in a chair and talk to people. <laughs> I think there's a difference here, Tom. But... Uh, in all seriousness, thank you, thank you. Uh, Mark Kepler, thank you, Bill Walsh, and uh, my off-camera guest, Misty Kripe, that voice that you've heard from above. That was not God, that was Misty Kripe. <laughs> but uh, all the things you guys are doing, we really appreciate it. We're going to get out, we're going to get a lot of video of this to uh, hopefully you've enjoyed that over the course of this video. We've got some information here on the screen about how you can talk to the friends of the park and get involved with everything these guys are doing to make Fulton County the best it can be. So thank you again. We'll see you next time here on RTC TV4.